In the field of speech pathology, we use standardized tests a lot. We give a test, we score it, we put a bunch of numbers in a table, we stick those in a report, and we share that with people. But what do those numbers really mean? Does an 85 mean the same thing for every single test that we give? No, absolutely not. And it's really important for us to understand what all these numbers mean. Okay, we have the bell curve or the normal curve, right? And many of the tests in our field are based on that curve, but not all of them. In fact, articulation tests for the most part are based on a negatively skewed distribution. And what does that mean for us? It means that the numbers don't line up in the same way that we expect them to on a normal curve. Really important for us to know. Then there are test statistics like reliability and validity, and we need to understand those because they really have an impact on how well this test is going to work. And probably the most important thing that we need to pull out of our test manual is information about the sensitivity and specificity of our tests. That tells us how well a test differentiates between those who have a disorder and those who don't have a disorder. So that's really important. And newsflash, the point at which a test differentiates between those two groups is not the same for every test. So while we're very accustomed to saying, let's use 77 as a cutoff or let's use 85 as a cutoff, we really need to base that information on the specific test because different tests differentiate better at different points. So really important information. We share all of this with you in this one hour course that we have on using standardized tests. Check it out.